have biodegradable waste so we have discussed about it yeah uh, so we have discussed about it biodegradable waste okay that is all the all the waste which can be you know decomposed okay into its constituent materials or constituent components fine by the mechanism of living organism okay that is called a biodegradable waste so we all know that uh, that's vegetable and fruits and this uh, wood and those which are normally you know you know uh, there is a very simple classification those uh, you know which are produced by the nature fine they can easily be biodegradable because that has the mechanism to uh, you know what whatever nature produces okay that can be you know degraded okay but uh, but but what uh, happened you know what, what we are producing the artificially when we are producing okay that becomes non degradable the biggest example is your plastic right so the biggest example is plastic okay so next is how we can uh, you know recycle uh, biodegradable waste so you have carrot this is this is the part of carrot which is not used so what you do you just put it in the green uh, you know uh, green box or green bin okay recycle bin okay so after decomposing there is a process of decomposing you don't have to do anything you know it's it's by nature only you know you just put it there have some moisture you know you have that bacteria fungus and and that moisture you know they just they just decompose this material okay any material fine they just decompose this material and forms the human humus okay they forms the humus or we also call as compost okay yeah exactly compost pit it it is it is one of the cheapest it is one of the easiest it is one of the you know efficient way to decompose your uh, you know uh, your day to day life material like 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 vegetables the waste of vegetable people used to just throw it uh, you know outside their house no why you want to throw it okay just just make a you know a mud pot okay then put it inside it take only two three mud pots okay in in your house or or at, at your terrace uh, you have uh, you maybe terrace garden or something okay have two three uh, you know mud pots okay then put your waste inside them okay when it fills down after 10 days you know just just take out that uh, you know waste and put in another one and and have some uh, you know water in it okay then after 10 days you know just take out and put in another one in one month you know you have an ample amount of fertilizers for your garden fine and not for not for your but also for your you know surroundings also fine so that can be used as uh, you know uh, that that can be used as fertilizers for the soil you know and it is so good in uh, you know nutrient it is so good in nutrient that it can be grown anyway fine yeah possibly we could better put it in a compost bin exactly exactly that's why that's why we have a topic to study in this uh, you know chapter that's why uh, you know we want to uh, convey this uh, you know this, this knowledge to people like you because you are the young young mind you are you are the one who is going to uh, you know uh, just just take it forward fine 